Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Man DZ's Kanji Study Sessions. We got 12 new vocabulary words from the JLPT N1 list today, and as always, if we see new kanji in this list of words, we're going to go over their readings, their meanings, and how to remember them based on the radicals that make up the kanji, and then we'll write them down 10 times while saying them out loud. If it's a new kanji, but it's made of, ra uh, it's a, if it's a new word, but it's made of kanji we already know, we're just going to go over the meaning of the two kanji and how they come together to make our new word. If you don't want to listen to me write these out while I say them out loud, head on over to YouTube and you can skip ahead to the explanations. And if you just want these word lists for your own, head over to Google Drive and you can download at will. Our first word of the day is no men. A no men. Men on the right side for a mask or a surface and no on the left side for an ability or a talent. But in this case, we're referring specific, specifically to no masks, as in uh, no plays. No is a type of play in, Jap in Japan. So a no men is a mask for no plays. A no men. No men is a mask for no plays. No men this. A no men is a mask for no plays. No men. No men is a mask for no No men this. No men. No men is a mask for no plays. Number two is G Shoku. G on the left side for um, resigning. Uh, and shoku on the right side for employment. So this is literally resigning from employment or from an office or from an office. Jishoku is resigning from office or from one's work. Jishoku this. Jishoku. Jishoku is resignation from your work or from your job. Jishoku. Jishoku this is resignation from work or from an office. Jishoku. Jishoku is resignation from your job. Number three are kai ke, ka ke. Ka on the left side for your house or your home, and K on the right side for a measure. K is often used in um, the words for calculations, so you can think of this as a household calculation or a household measure, specifically of finances. Household economy or family finances is ka ke. Ka ke desu is household or family finances. Kake. Kake this. Kake. Our household or family family finances. Kake this. Kake. Our family finances. Okay. Number four is sepaku, or sorry, appaku. Atsu on the left side for pressure, and semaru on the right side, or haku on the right side, for also kind of approaching. So this is approaching pressure, or pressure itself. Can also mean oppression or suppression. Atsu plus haku is appaku, or approaching pressure. Is pressure or oppression? Appaku this. Appaku. Appaku this. 
means pressure or oppression. Or suppression. Apaka. Suppressing oppression. Number five is a guppy. This is the date. This is literally translated the month and day. Uh, guppy is the date. Gatsu plus hi is guppy. Or the month and day. Guppy. Roughly translated the date. Guppy is the month and day. Number six is a kaiju. You've probably heard this word used in Godzilla and other cool anime shows about monsters. A kaiju is a uh, suspicious or kind of, a, yeah, let's go with suspicious. This is a suspicious beast. A suspicious beast is a monster. That is one that is kind of shaded in mystery and not exactly identifiable. A kaiju is a monster or a suspicious beast, literally translated. A kaiju is a suspicious beast or a monster. A kaiju is a monster surrounded in mystery and bad feeling. A kaiju is a monster. Kaiju is a monster. Kaiju is a monster. Kaiju is a monster. Number seven is a shomin, or the shomin. Shomin are the common people or ordinary people. You'll recognize min as our kanji kind of for the civilization uh, the or the population kind of common folk and show on the left side is another kind of enforcement of that same com kanji with a commoner all or bastard now this kanji has three radicals in it with our overhanging cliff 20 in the middle here kind of with two tens put together and fire um, I'm kind of imagining kind of commoners in a square not necessarily a cliff but kind of in a, an enclosed space and they're dancing around a fire and kind of you're viewing it from above as like the the lord of the land. This is most likely going to have to be rote memorization, but that's my attempt at remembering. Commoner, all, or bastard is sho. Sho is commoner, all, or bastard. Sho mi no sho. So this literally translates to common people, or the ordinary people and masses. Sho mi. Sho mi no sho is commoner. Shomi no sho are commoners or all the people. Shomi no sho are commoners. Shomi no sho des sho are commoners, all the people, or bastard. And I don't really know what bastard means in this context. It might just mean someone not of royal birth. So hold your hold your judgments out on what bastard is. Shomin are commoners or ordinary people or the masses. Shomin. Number eight is soppo o muku. Soppo o muku. Soppo on the left side comes from outer direction. So this is facing outward, wo muku, meaning to face towards or to turn towards. So sopo muku literally means to turn in an outward direction or to turn away, to ignore or be uncooperative in kind of a metaphorical sense. To ignore or be uncooperative, literally translated to turn away or to turn outward. Sopo muku is to turn away. to turn to an outward direction. Soppo muku. Soppo muku is to face outward. Number nine is a keimo. Keimo itself is enlightenment or instruction with two new kanji. On the left side, we have disclose, open, or say with the radicals for a door being struck open 
um, in order for someone to say something. This is the mouth kanji on the bottom, but can also be kind of an open door as well. Um, so this is someone striking down the door to say or disclose something. I'm imagining like um, a reporter busting open the door to his office and saying to his boss and disclosing something important that he's got to say to his boss is why he kicked in the door. K is disclose, open, or say. K mono K is disclose, open, or say. K mono no K is to disclose, open, or say with the reporter kicking down the door to disclose or say something to the office. K mo no K. K mo no K. K mo no K. It's to disclose, open, or say. And the second part of this kanji, mo, also pronounced bo, kurai for darkness, or komuru, which I'm not sure it is yet, and I'm not going to worry about it, because we're just going to remember mo for today, for ke mo no mo, is ignorance, darkness, to get, receive, or to sustain. So together, this is either to receive a disclosure and be enlightened as to what it says, or to... Um, be disclosed and come out of the darkness as a result of that uh, disclosure. So this is both kind of meaning say like something was disclosed and you are no longer in the dark, metaphorically speaking. Mole is made of two radicals that I can tell. Uh, there's grass on the top of a hill. This is also the kanji very close to our kanji for a house, but this radical altogether means a hill. So this is a grass covered hill. That makes me think of uh, The Hobbit and makes me think of kind of their, their little hobbit holes. And the grass in this case, I'm thinking of like a grass covered hill. If it's like um, a place you are, if it's darkness or ignorance that you're in inside this hill, the grass isn't gonna do anything else but kind of further seal you in. Like not a hermetic seal, but like the grass is another seal on top of just the dirt hill, if you will. So I'm thinking of kind of the darkness of that, inside of that hill. Uh, for this word, ke mo is a disclosure that gets you out of darkness or ignorance. Ke mo no mo is a grass covered hill. Literally, ignorance or darkness. Ke mo no mo is ignorance or darkness. Ke mo no mo also mean to get or receive. And I guess you can think directly of that line from The Hobbit. We're not taking any well wishes, like we're not receiving. Actually, that might be confusing. Don't worry about that. Just remember darkness or ignorance, because those are pretty close in metaphorical meaning, at least. is darkness or ignorance inside the grass-covered hill. Ke mo no mo is ignorance or darkness. And ke mo itself is a disclosure of something that brings you out of darkness or ignorance, an instruction or enlightenment. Ke mo is enlightenment or instruction. Number 10 is nukasu, with our kanji for coming out of something else or bringing out of something else. We have to omit, to skip or to overtake, meaning it was taken out of what you were looking at with omit or skip. To overtake, meaning um, it's taken out of the lead, I guess you can try to remember. To pass, to say, or to speak, to bring it out, if you will. Nukasu is to omit, skip, overtake, pass, or to speak. Nukasu. Nukasu to omit or skip it can also mean to speak that's kind of a hard that's kind of hard to remember because usually if you're omit, omitting something you're not also speaking it nukasu is to omit skip to speak 
or to overtake Mukasa this. Mukasa with our kanji for extracting or pulling out. Mukasa is to omit or skip. Number 11 is a gai kan. Gai on the left side for outside and kan on the right side for viewing. So the outer view of something or it's out, how it looks on the outside, if you want to translate it backwards, is your outward appearance or looks. A gai kan is an outward appearance or the looks of something. Gai kan is an outer appearance or the looks of something. Gai kan is the outer appearance or looks of something. Gai kan this. Gai kan is the outer appearance or outer view of something. View from the outside, if you will. Gai kan is an outward appearance or view. Gai kan. And finally number, finally, number 12 is mono tarinai. This is our E adjective. It doesn't look like it, but it is. It's an E adjective at the end here for a thing that is not sufficient. This is a thing on the left side, and tarinai on the right side uses our kanji for sufficiency. And tarinai is a kind of negative conjugation of that. So mono tarinai is something that is not sufficient, insufficient, or unsatisfied. Mono tarinai is insufficient or unsatisfied. Mono tarinai is insufficient or unsatisfied. Mono tarinai, something insufficient or unsatisfied. Let's go back to the top, make sure we put some good little flags in our brain where all these memorizations are eventually going to go. Our first word of the day was a no mask with no men. No on the left side for an ability or a skill. Also for no plays, and men on the right side for a mask or a surface. A no men is a no mask. A household economy or family finances is literally translated a household measure. A kake. Kake is a household finance or measures. Pressure, oppression, or suppression is abaku. Atsu on the left side for pressure, and semaru on the left side. Or closing in or pressing. So apaku is oppression or pressure. The date is the month and day or guppy. Guppy is the date. A monster is a suspicious beast or a kaiju. A kaiju is a monster. The common people or ordinary people are two uh, kanji that both kind of mean commoners. This is a shomin. The shomin Shomin are commoners or ordinary people. Shomin. Sho on the left side for common, and min on the right side, kind of for the citizenry. To turn away or to ignore, to be uncooperative, is soppo muku. Soppo. Soppo, all hiragana, but means kind of facing outward or facing an outward direction. O for our transitive verb recognition and muku on the right side for to face or turn to soppo muku is to ignore or to be uncooperative and enlightenment or instruction is a let's see kemo k on the left side for the door being struck open for a disclosure and mo on the left side with darkness or ignorance with our grass-covered mound. Kemo is instruction out of darkness or out of or out of ignorance. To omit, to skip, or to overtake, or to say or speak, which is going to be very hard to remember, is nukasu. Nukasu from our kanji for extracting. Nukasu. The outward appearance or looks of something are its gai kan. Gai on the left side for outward or outside, and kan on the left side for view. The outward view of something is its outward looks. Gai kan. And finally, unsatisfied or insufficient as an e adjective is mono tarinai. Kono mono tarinai benkyo wa. Eto, 
12月の12月の試験に悪い<笑> This insufficient studying will not be good for the test in December will be bad for the test in December 物足りない is insufficient or unsatisfied Thanks for watching today, everybody. I hope you had a good Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Domo. Arigatou gozaimashita.